this is from my book titled um, Asian Factual Fiction. Drea stepped into Viva City. Viva City was a huge, sprawling mall. She had been one of the first visitors to the newly opened cinema back in August 2008 before she left for Australia. She felt the cold blast from the sterile air conditioning on her bare arms and thighs as she ambled down the center of the shopping complex's ground floor. The scene was a swirl of candy bright lights. The Victoria's Secret pink signboard, signboards which lured one to purchase confidence or sexual appeal or whatever it was that was being advertised. The fluorescent lights in each straw, contrasting with the shiny black tiled walls and the eye-catching speckled marble tiles on the ground. One could lick the floor. The tiles were spotless, clean like the fake air she was breathing in, like the atoms and cells in her that were decaying in stale neglect. Miss, what brand of facial wash do you use? A cool, level voice asked. Breaking through the little bubble Drea was encapsulated in, she heard the words in drifts and drabs, miss and facial, were the only ones she heard clearly. Miss Facial. A young man had appeared and was standing next to her, quite near to her. He had entered her personal space without even trying. Drea's mind and spirit was so dead and desensitized that her entire being engaged the well-groomed, pleasant, and easy-to-look-at figure before her. He was a hint of a breath of fresh air and oxygen, and she was happy to take it, even if it lasted for just a second. It didn't matter that he was a salesman. Anyone with half a brain knew that a salesperson had to be slick to be able to do their job well. But Drea was starved for some attention and open interaction. She saw the figure as a good-looking young, suave, and confident man, first and foremost. And as a salesperson, a far away second. Drea paused, bringing her hand up as she thought about it, entering into the zone of reality, out of the lifeless rewardless fantasy she was imprisoned in. Neutrogena on the spot acne treatment? It had stopped working in Adelaide, although it had worked fine when Joya was in Singapore. It had stopped working like her brain had stopped working ever since she had fallen for Jack.